walk? Let's do it. All right. Why are you here, Phil? Uh, well, it's a perfect opportunity to come back to Pittsburgh, uh, play with uh, Coach Signetti and Coach Narduzzi, and, and play on a really good team. Did you answer everybody who asked you probably 4,000 times? Yeah, what about the first time? Why do you commit? What, what happened? You could have uh, you know, been a Pittsburgh kid all the way through. Are, are you past that, or what happened with all that? Yeah, I mean, I think about it a little bit. Uh, Pitt's got everything here. It, right. You got the whole setup, and uh, you know, I committed to Notre Dame early in high school, but looking back on it, I think uh, everybody should just stay home and go to Pitt. You got everything you need here. Yeah, you look back on that. I mean, if you could do it all over again, is that something you'd, you'd still do or kind of yeah, work? Yeah, I, I think uh, I learned a lot from my experience. So being at Notre Dame and Boston College helped me out a lot to get to the position that I'm in now. So, you know, I wouldn't regret anything. I think I'm really prepared for this moment. Tell me, where do you want to go from here? I mean, is it, you know, you look, do you catch yourself looking at, oh, where is this draft prospect? Or where do I rank on all this? Um, how's that work for you? You know, I'm not looking too much into the draft or the NFL. Really, I'm just, I'm focused on having a great season for Pitt this year. And, you know, that should all come after that. I don't believe you. I bet you look at those draft prospects. <laughs> you have to look at people at different places, don't you? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the dream is, is to have a great year, then go on from there and play in the NFL. But right now, I'm just focused on Pitt. What have you learned watching Kenny Pickett? Man, he's just a gamer. I, I love how he plays. I love his competitive spirit that, you know, anytime he's out there, there's, there's a big chance, uh, big playability. So he's fun to watch. He kept getting better every year. I think he just, um, the experience is huge. The more you can play, uh, the better you're gonna get. Coach Ignetti talks about that all the time. You just, you need the reps in the game. So it, it's just gonna uh, they come with that, with the experience. But uh, I, he's just been impressive how he's, he's re-upped his game every year. It seems like he's adding something new. If I looked in your phone, who's the one phone number you got? And I'd say, you got that person's phone number? Who is it? Uh, come on. I don't know. I don't know, Who, what, who's that for you? Eh, I got some baseball players, some NFL yeah. guys. You don't have you don't have like a big time NFL quarterback. Well, Matt Ryan. I would say oh yeah. Matt Ryan would What's be your relationship with Matt Ryan from well, BC? Yeah, I've gotten to know him a little bit through BC. Um, yeah. Yeah. Got to be up there. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> Tell me why Frank is a, kind of a comfortable blanket for you, but also a really good football coach, and why you think you can succeed again with Frank Signetti here. I think the, the comfort lies in the fundamentals that he teaches. Um, it's really, it's really particular. Uh -huh. you know? So you can, you can test yourself and see where you're at as a QB whenever you're playing. Um, the footwork that we do, uh, really the, the fundamentals sets him apart. Tell me about your family a little bit. How old's your youngest sister? Six. Six. Leah. Yep. A lot of people don't have a six-year-old sister when they're wrapping up their college uh, their college experience. Well, yeah. Speak to that because, I mean, there are kids that, there are guys that you play with that might have kids that are four or five yeah. years old. Yeah. What do you what do you learn from a six-year-old sister right now? <laughs> Man, she's just, they keep it fun. I've got a six-year-old sister and a nine-year-old brother. Uh, I've got a big family, five siblings, but it's just been nice to be back and around them. But uh, they keep it fun. You know, they're just all excited about the season. And so that excitement, uh, it rubs off on me. Whenever you look at Pitt and you look at the history and you look at Marino and you look at Ironhead Hayward and you see all the guys they have currently in the NFL, especially defensive backs and people, you look at Aaron Donald. Does that, does that mean something for you even though you didn't go through the traditional recruiting process? Or you look at the cathedral right here. Um, what does that mean to try to be somebody that you go on Monday Night Football and they say, you know, Phil Dracovic, Pitt. Is it, does it mean something? Definitely. Like, these are guys that I really looked up to growing up. Uh, even the, the past players that uh, were before me, like Marino. Um, there's legendary players that have played at Pitt. And right. we still have a lot of guys in the NFL. So it's a, it's a legacy that we're proud of, and we just want to carry that on. I, I can't get away from the NFL, though because the NFL is, a lot of people, do you understand, a lot of people think, okay, this is a last year, this is a last chance 
This is Phil needing to get better individually. The team has to have success, like you said, but it's Phil needing to get better individually to raise his stock and get into the draft. It, it, have you heard all that kind of stuff? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, need to get better every year. So, yeah, I've, I've heard it. I'm coaching that he's driving that. He sees where I need to improve. But I, I think I've made a lot of strides. Like I'm, I'm feeling great, uh, about the best that I've felt. So I'm ready for this year.